everyone, it's time for the 2024 SEO must have tips. Let's check it out. All right, everyone, thanks for joining us. So today we're gonna go over some of the 2024 must have tips. These are the top 10. So let's start with number one. Number one is to embrace video and 3D Google tours. That's right. So at Cow Abundant, we're offering new virtual tours. We're excited about offering a number of new things, services, improvements to our clients. And one of them is virtual tours on Google Maps. These are really cool and powerful ways to show off your business. So video is becoming increasingly important for SEO. We know this, we're seeing a lot of really positive good engagement across video, and even really good conversion rates on video. So this is fantastic to see. It provides more engaging and informative ways for con uh, customers to consume content. So utilize video by uh, marketing your business and creating high quality videos that are relevant. Further, check out incorporating 3D Google tours. This is an actual tour of your business so that when people check out your business online, they can actually go in and see your business in a 3D tour. This is a really cool kind of a great user experience and a virtual experience for users that is really cool and awesome. And uh, we're excited to roll this out as well for customers in 2024. We're actually gonna do advanced telemetry tours using uh, software mixed with video capture devices so that we can create immersive content and a 3D virtual experience for your business. So check that out. Number two, optimize listings. These are both connected. So optimizing listings and local citations, it's something we take very seriously at Cal Abundant. And uh, in 2024, we're expanding that even more. We've done some amazing stuff with our listing service that we recommend. Um, which does a lot of local citations. So local citations are important across all major online directories so that your data and, and information is consistent. That's really important for ranking, which we will talk about later for other stuff that is related to local citations. Boosting your local ranking is very important and also gain credibility. Um, number three is encourage Google reviews. Google reviews are insanely important for businesses to get positive Google reviews about your business to be trustworthy and reputable. Encourage satisfied customers to leave positive Google reviews. Now, Google reviews are, are absolutely important. Here's some pro tips with that. So number one on that, you would want to make sure that the obvious customer uses, leaves a positive review, but you also wanna to respond to those reviews, whether positive or negative, you wanna try and fix the any feedback issues or any problems that might be there by using um, the feedback tool and just basically responding. The other thing is you wanna to try to get your customers to use some of the keywords. So if you're a plumber in Columbus, then say plumbers Columbus, Ohio, or like what you actually do. So have them describe the service, like they unclogged my toilet and they fixed it, they, we had a leak and they solved the problem. Like that's some more detail and even go further by saying more top keywords. That actually helps because those keywords are then pulled when people search and that's how you get some good rankings there with Google reviews. So Google reviews are very important. Number four, stay updated with Google ranking updates. So Google ranking updates happen all the time. November and and uh, September, there were uh, October, there were a ton of Google ranking updates that happened. So one of the ways you can stay updated is by liking and subscribing this video. So subscribe to this video. We post updates every month about Google reviews or about Google updates. So be sure to check those out. Another great person to follow is Rusty Brick on, um, you can do that on Twitter, you can do that on um, on other platforms, YouTube and such, and also follow us at Cow Abundant uh, across different platforms, um, you know, Twitter and beyond. Next is number five, is to leverage the power of blogging and AI powered content. So regu regularly you wanna publish content, you wanna use AI to uh, help you po post content and get creative ideas, it's very important and also just to create um, new content. Now you wanna treat AI like an intern, like we do, where we don't just say, make us an article and that's it. You know, we look up keywords, we figure out what people are asking, we try to create engaging, interesting content that then will maybe write stuff for us, but we actually have this unique ability. Another thing we're, we're releasing more in 2024 is AI blogging. 
testing engines where we've experimented this with some clients that's worked really well. And we actually take interviews from clients put in their little secret sauce into the AI engine, and then it can help create really cool articles for, for their website. Number six, prioritize user experience. A positive user experience is extremely important for your website. So that's why you wanna check out your website both on mobile and on desktop, and you wanna see how it ranks, how it looks. You know your business, you know like what works and what doesn't. If you have too much lead gen stuff on your site, you might wanna take some of that away. You might also wanna think about your site, how a user might use it. Should that form be there? Should I adjust this? The stuff we've seen that have worked very well is on the top slider, you wanna do the Gary Vaynerchuk style. So when you sell, you say, I'm selling. Which is jab, 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 right hook, which means give, 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 and then ask. So you wanna give users content, you wanna give them information, and then you wanna ask for something after that, which, you know, makes sense, right? You don't just wanna say, have all these things that are like bothering them. I'm selling, I am selling this, and I feel comfortable. When I put a link out, buy my book. So actually check out the website, make sure all the, the pages work, make sure all the icons work, make sure everything la, looks la, good, la, 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 and la, really go over, over it with a thinking of, how does my customer use the site? This is the way you do it, huh? Show it up at my appointment! What am I supposed to do? You won't answer my calls, you change your number. I mean, I'm not gonna be ignored, Dan. Is this helpful for them? You know, am I showing my product fast enough and well enough for the customer? So think about that on your site. You know, does it, does it work? Does it make sense? Number seven is structured data. So incorporate structured data. This is important. It's a backend, um, basically, uh, item that structured data market provides search engine with detailed information about your, your site, your, your contacts. So there's a lot in structured data you can add about your local business, about where you are, about all kinds of things related to your location and other data. Um, that's something we also do within our listing service, which, uh, goes into the next. So number eight is optimized for voice search. So on our listing service, we optimize for Google, for Siri, for Google Assistant, for Amazon Alexa, for a number of voice related searches. And that's really important because in natural language, you use a lot of long tail keywords, conversational phrases to ensure your website's discoverable through voice search. So that's really important. And voice search is gaining popularity and it's, it's gonna grow in 2024 for sure. So that's really important to pay attention to. Siri is not the easiest to actually leverage in voice search. So we actually have tools that help get businesses properly on Siri and other voice related uh, searches. Number nine is build backlinks from high quality websites. So this is always very important. You wanna build confidence and you wanna create content that shows your website's authority. So you can get backlinks a number of ways. Um, the listing service we do is does that you know, in spades and, and really great, as well as even asking local businesses you might know for links to your site. So maybe you write an article for them, say I wrote this article and you have a quote and you put, post your link that way, or, you know, sharing links is really powerful. Um, so do that, ask local businesses to do it, write more blogs, and then your blogs can be shared on other platforms. And that's a powerful way to, uh, to get more notice basically. And finally, number 10, the final 2024 recommendation is to track and analyze your SEO performance. This is really important because monitoring those gains help you in the future so much. To know where you were, where your competitors are, we actually have position tracking and competitive reports that compare how you're doing versus your competitors, how you're doing in keywords over time. But it's really important to actually look at those data insights and kind of think about them. So you might be getting some of those like every month or every few weeks and, and seeing those reports and maybe you kind of gleam over them, but it is actually important to take like even 30 seconds, a minute, a few, few minutes and look at those reports and say like, okay, how is my traffic doing? What happened here? Oh, there's a spike. Why did that happen? Did I send a newsletter? You know, was there a sale? Like what, what was going on? Oh, my conversions, maybe they dipped. Maybe they're not where they should be, right? And then from SEO side, it's, it's about ranking. It's about keywords. So like, why did this go up and down? What did I do to improve that? And also like, what are my competitors doing? Like, holy crap, maybe they did something they're, you know, gaining. So look at their sites and see how they're actually doing, what they're doing in blogging or that kind of stuff. I can say with confidence that if you blog and if you do that and maintain it, your SEO will grow. 
It will grow, it just happens. And, it, and you will learn more about your site, you'll learn more about your users, you'll start listening to what your users want, what they're thinking about, and that kind of insight is so powerful for a business, so powerful for SEO. So I really encourage you to blog in 2024. You know, keep up with video. There's so many amazing things that are happening. And by implementing these changes over 2024, you will definitely have a more successful year in SEO for your website. And you know, I'm encouraged, I'm excited because there's so many cool tools happening with AI, with video, I mean, blogging, it's like, it's opened up so many things. I didn't even, I didn't even talk about image creation, the amazing image creation that is, that is occurring in Dolly um, with, you know, Bing and, and even like Mid Journey and other tools that are just blowing my mind to constantly and creating fantastic images for clients. It's really cool and just fun to play with honestly. So it's really exciting now. 2024 is an exciting year for technology. And I'm, I'm just really, really happy to see what you think as well. So leave comments below. I want to know what you think is the most helpful. And if I missed any, what, what you think in 2024 is going to be most important for, for web and, and SEO and where things are going. So thanks everybody. I hope this was helpful. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, and subscribe and have a awesome, awesome 2024.